Today I'm gonna show you a uh, Florence uh, Coca-Cola straight side. It's kind of a real nice one. It's a uh, Florence, uh, this is a uh, straight side coat. See how it goes straight. Sides are straight, this is a straight side. It's got script letters. So, uh, now this is an amber. See how uh, dark is the, the brown color bottom. They uh, they only made amber straight size Coca-Cola did. They never made a hobble skirt. So, uh, if you ever see a hobble skirt, just do know that it is a reproduction. It has been newt, uh, which is where they, uh, they forced the color to be changed by shipping them to food processing plants. So, uh, like I said, this is a straight side script uh, Coke from Florence. It's um, mid script. See so yeah, the the script is kind of in the body part of the bottle. This is the shoulder, neck, shoulder, body, heel, right here. That's heel, and so this is on the body. So this is considered a mid script. And then, uh, as you can tell, if you tilt it, you see where it's got a square area where it says Florence, Alabama. So this is a mid up slug plate. See the slug part? So Coco did several of these. These are just a town slug plate on this one. Uh, Florence had several ambers, different styles. This is a kind of a nice one. And um, the uh, mid script was probably used between about 1902, 1910, some of that ballpark. There's nothing on the back. It just says must uh, and, and must be returned. Um, this is the, this is where they said, it actually reads, this bottle is not sold and must be returned. And what that is, is that it's, um, uh, it's put on there for legal purposes of another bottle or using this bottle and sticking their label right here. So it'd be like, uh, Pepsi would use it and then stick their label and then it'd be, you were using someone else's product. That's one that's on there. Not necessarily for collectors to not to be sold. It was just back in the retail market. Kind of like alcohol, a lot of times it says not to be refilled. Um, so as I said, this is a mid script. And these were, these were used from uh, about 1902, 1910. And there's not, um, Alabama had both, had some companies that used amber and some that did um, most uh, in the south, most of them are aqua, so to have a, an amber is kind of an odd one. It's real pretty, it kind of sticks out. Um, others that were amber were uh, Albertville, Florence, Gunnersville, uh, Moshe, that's Florence, uh, Huntsville, New Decatur, and Sheffield. They all, uh, they all had amber, amber cokes as well, so they're real nice, kind of, but uh, kind of. Most people see the Huntsville one. So uh, that's um, kind of gives you an idea of this one. Real nice bottle. As I said, just kind of showing you a Florence straight side amber. Amber Coke. And then they came in different colors. We can do that in a different video. But this is an amber. And this one will what you would have called an aqua. So if you ever hear me say it in a video, this is an aqua. Um, Kind of an aqua there too so um so there you go straight side amber uh, mid script slug plate florence alabama there's the numbers on the bottom i'm not real sure what all that means not on this one so sorry about that Matt do a little research and make a radio video there. But that's a real nice bottle. Um, kind of subscribe to the YouTube and I'll go over some more bottles uh, uh, as I get a chance. I'm going to try to do mostly Alabama, but every now and then I'll throw another state in there if I have it on in, in, in my hand, in my possession. Thanks again. And see you till, uh, tune in for next time. Thanks.